Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with Efficiency Vermont. Today we're going to talk about foundation insulation. We're going to go out to a few different job sites and look at how they insulate foundation walls and slabs and walkout basements and all different kinds of configurations. We've got a few sites lined up for you to see, so come on along with me and let's go look at some job sites. Heat loss to the outside is a big factor in the performance of a building. That's why it's important that we insulate the foundation walls and the slab to reduce the heat loss to outside. It's also required by the energy code. Today they're insulating the basement foundation walls here and we're going to go down and see how they're doing. The homeowner really wants an energy efficient home for resale value and just a comfortable home to live in. It's a comfort and doesn't hurt with the utility bills either. No, nope, helps, helps out a lot. That's great. This is an 8 inch concrete wall. It has very little thermal resistance to heat flow. Heat moves from hot to cold. When it's cold outside, heat's moving through the wall. Below grade, it's always colder outside than it is in this basement. So heat's always gonna be moving from inside to outside. Above grade, sometimes it's warmer outside, sometimes it's warmer inside. The heat will flow either direction. This is two and a half inches of polyisocyanurate foam insulation. This has an R value of about R15. So it creates a pretty significant thermal barrier to heat loss. This whole basement, without any insulation on it, would cost hundreds of dollars a year to heat. This adheres the two sheets together so there's no airflow in between. The energy code mandates that we insulate our basements to R15, all the way down to the basement floor. Every two feet, put a big thick glob. Now I just set it right on. Squeeze it down. And squeeze it right over. You couldn't just use any old foam here. You need to use the fire rated. No, kind. like the pink or the blue stuff is not rated for exposure and can burn. This is a fire rated foam. So if I use the pink board or the blue board, I'd have to put some kind of fire coating over the top yeah, of it. You would. Here is a bead of foam that's sealing the sill plate to the concrete. Also underneath the sill plate is a uh, foam seal seal material, but the, the latest version of the code requires that we have an additional bead of foam here. This is a very big leakage point. It helps enormously in terms of keeping the air leakage at a minimum. This bead of foam here that Mike has blown in, in between the insulation and the concrete is here to keep air movement from getting behind the insulation. And once that warm, moist air from the basement can get behind the insulation, it's gonna come in contact with the concrete wall. The cold surface that allows that moisture to condense can cause mold and mildew problems, which would create air quality problems in the home at, at some point. So it's a really good idea to keep it all sealed up. And he's done a really nice job of putting a good bead all around this foam. All along here, we can see the asphalt coating that's been applied to the outside of the concrete foundation. This is being used to keep bulk water from moving into the concrete. Concrete's a very porous material. It has very fine pores in it. The water actually moves through concrete. So we use this on the outside of the foundation to keep, to keep the bulk water outside. So that was a good example of interior foundation insulation. We can also insulate the exterior of the foundation. We'd still have to use R15, and we'd still have to go from the top of the foundation all the way to the footing. We would also have to cover that exterior foundation above grade to protect it from weather and UV, other kinds of damage. Not all foundations are exactly the same. Different configurations require different types of detailing. Let's take a look at a walkout foundation. So today we're here in Hinesburg. I'm talking with Chris Snyder of Snyder Homes. And uh, Chris, we do, we do a lot of work with you guys um, all over the area. Can you, can you tell me you know, why, why do you work with Efficiency Vermont? One of the things that's important is in, in the state of Vermont and uh, locally is that we provide energy efficient homes. And so from a marketing perspective, it's good to have Efficiency Vermont involved in what we do. And vice versa, I think it's important that we're involved with Efficiency Vermont for, to prove that uh, homes can be built uh, efficiently, affordably uh, for Vermonters. So should we go downstairs and see how you insulated the basement here? Sure. All right, <laughs> great. Where is it, down here? Down here. OK, 
Chris, we've got a walkout basement here, which is a different kind of uh, situation than we've been seeing. And there's, there's a lot of transitions, a lot of wall heights changing, and a, and a lot of things happening. I wonder if you could describe how you, how you did the insulation detailing yeah. on this. Absolutely. So let me show you something over here, and I can show you how that works. We have a foundation wall, and then on the inside of the foundation wall, we have an R15 insulation board that goes at least four feet deep. The footings are below that level, mm -hmm. and then the slab basically meets up with that insulation board along this edge here. So this is it right here then, you can see the edge of it. Yep. Not all houses have basements. Some houses are built on slabs. For those homes, the code requires R15 slab edge insulation from the top of the slab all the way down four feet. For heated slabs, the code requires R15 insulation underneath the slab. Efficiency Vermont recommends at least R15 insulation under any slab. We're gonna go look at a house now that's being built way beyond the minimum standards. We're looking at a, a frost protected shallow foundation. Uh, which is basically a slab on grade with no, um, no frost walls or footings poured underneath it. The slab is a uh, thick slab and it's, it's insulated. It's, it's going to be a high performance home. It's insulated with 12 inches of EPS foam. Um, Alex has a special system for doing that. Can you just describe to us how this works? Sure. The perimeter is made up of a block which goes from here okay. all the way out to here. These are four feet oh, wide. Oh, this is one solid piece. And underneath here is a 12 inch bed of crushed stone. This is a high density foam that can take the weight of an eight inch slab that's going on it. The EPS, does that provide a barrier to the vapor that's in the ground? Not enough. So we, this is um, a reinforced poly, uh, which these fibers in here give it a lot of, lot of strength. This, this fiberglass reinforcement. Oh, that's tough stuff. Very, very, very tough. So you've got 12 inches of insulation underneath the slab yep. and 12 inches on the edge of the slab as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So that's a real high performance foundation. Yeah, really, really nice. We've looked at just three examples of many possible configurations of foundations and slabs and basements. There's lots of ways to build. There's lots of ways to insulate. For more information, just contact us here at Efficiency Vermont. Until next time, I'm Matt Sargent.